Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry, I can see. Uh, brethren, I welcome us all to the Holy Ghost Hour of this morning. We give glory to God who has seen us through the course of the night. While we went to bed to sleep, the Lord himself watched over us. He protected us. He preserved our lives. And here we are again in this brand new day. What is it that we can offer unto the Lord? All that we can give to him is to praise him. And as we worship him this morning, as he has promised in his word, he will come down to inhabit the praises of his people in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to our session of uh, worship, praise and worship, to be led by Sister Gloria. Let's lift up our hearts unto the Lord, to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. There's anything you know, that you benefit from this morning is to be able to bring God down into your you know, sitting room or wherever you are connecting from, so that the blessing he has for you today will not elude you. Do your best as we worship yeah. you at your hearts. Open your mouth to pray to God. Okay. And the Lord will come down to minister unto you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister Gloria, over to you, please. I don't think she's laughing. Oh. I am preparing for work, so God bless us. Oh, Jesus, have mercy on me. Amen. 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 God bless you. Right. Go, please. Go oh, Jesus, have mercy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you the glory. Excellent God, we worship your holy name. We give you glory and adoration, O everlasting Lord, for the wonderful opportunity you are giving to us this morning to follow the host of angels to worship you, Lord. My God, my Lord, Jehovah, King of glory, thank you, Lord, for giving us another chance. Thank you for opening the, the door, that book of grace for us to usher us in, Lord. Thank you, receive all the glory and adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, so we worship you this hour. Come down, O Lord, I have it, the praises, your praises, O Lord, and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We are on the low side. We are we will never be for you. We never, never, never yeah. overcome us. We are Father, 
we say we will never. never. No matter never. any condition, any trouble, we never, 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 never give never. up for you. We will never, never, never. Because we have. Mama, 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 Father, unto you be thy glory. Every single one 
summit of our worship this morning about to hear the word of God I'd like you to open your heart to receive from the Lord this morning so that your life will not remain the same again the man of God will be coming up to deliver the message guys from the Lord for us let's pay attention as we hear with the mind to do as you are told, you shall be well with us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So as uh, the man of God, you know, prays after the prayer to start the, the ministration, please do good uh, yourself good and ourselves also by muting your mic so that uh, you do not constitute a nuisance to anybody this morning. I have the pleasure to invite the man of God, the watchman of this ministry, Apostle Emmanuel Obazele, to give us the message that the Lord has for us this morning. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. I want to allow us to speak to me in the language I understand this morning. But I'm here to hear from you, not from any man. Talk to me. Speak to me directly. Express to me what you want. Father, Jesus Christ, 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 Jesus Christ,
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would have loved to put it in camera, but Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm most thankful that we are here again in your presence. Father, I will hear your word. Jesus, we ask, O oh God, to send the Holy Spirit, O oh God, of wisdom. Speak to us, O oh God, in the language we all will understand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I place my ear in your mouth as always. Speak to my ear and speak to my mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, speak to me and speak to me to your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, correct us, O oh God, reprove us, O oh God. Father, instruct us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every part of the enemy who hinder this world by disturbing the network or anyhow, Lord Jesus Christ, I silence them, every part connected to, with us right now, instead of you, I disconnect them in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, let this world come with fire and death, every power of the darkness, every ears of the devil, I death them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Thank you, Father, because I know you have answered that prayer again in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brethren, I thank God again for his love for us. I thank God for he's always ready to speak to us so that we all will be blessed. And I believe we all shall be blessed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please. Um, Means your mic, everybody. If you want to really hear from God this morning, Amen. Amen. It's like you know, this is making me the first one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then this morning we have a message from the Lord for every one of us, including me. Uh, including youth as out there. Sometimes we think we are already heaven, not knowing that we are even far more than some empty doctor. I pray this morning after this world to learn how to behave, how to possess our, our souls here and not in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But then the topic we have this morning says be righteous also fall. The righteous also fall. But then, I don't know how righteous you are. I don't know how pure and clean your mind has told you you are, that you are already heaven. On the last day, you are even the one, the Lord will give you the book of life to, to call, hey, Emmanuel coming, Joy Kim, they come, Caroline come, you go this side, go that side. Maybe you are thinking you are the one that will do that on the last day. So therefore, nobody can talk to you anymore. You are not the one to instruct everybody. You are so sure of yourself that you are already in heaven. But I'm asked to tell you this morning, if I am that person, the Lord is telling me this morning that I must be very, very careful because the righteous also fall. The saints can also be seduced. We must be very, very careful so that on the last day, those you are thinking you will call in, they will watch you going to hell. Those that you are thinking you will laugh at other on that day, they will smile at you. And I pray, whatever that is in us, making us be proud, thinking we are already there, the Lord will have mercy upon us. I put it away from us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible told us in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 12. Wherefore, he that thinketh is ten. He that thinketh is already there. He that thinketh is now walking party pass with Christ in heaven already. He that thinketh is already in heaven. Take heed, lest he fall. Because the holy man of yesterday can fall today. The righteous 
can also fall. The set can also be seduced. He that taketh the strand, take he, lest he fall. The Bible told us in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 18. Say, when the righteous turneth from his righteousness, that means the tendency for a righteous man to turn away from righteousness. What make great men fall is little thing. Though I big thing, hey, I don't think I can ever fornicate again. I don't think I can ever, I can ever, I can ever be uh, go, go for an arm robber again. I don't think I can ever steal somebody else's wife, uh, somebody wife again. Brothers and sisters, little thing can pull you down. Just little anger, and uh, you 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 forget to forgive the person, uh, or just little. I uh, will call you back. And you forget to call the person back. It is ready for you. You are falling already. You are done already. And maybe you are still doing whatever you are doing. You are still preaching. You are still doing everything. Thinking you are already heaven. Not knowing that that little thing you said you will do. And you forget. Not that you vehemently forget. Or not that you vehemently refuse to do it. But you forgot to do it. That thing is written on you. In heaven, you are no more on the race. You are out of it. Maybe that little lie or that little exaggeration. You know this way is supposed to stop the world. You extend it a little bit so that somebody else that are there too will believe you. Or so that the thing are you are not lying. So let it, you garnish it with little things. To you, it is wonderful. People are happy about it. I'm telling you, heaven has rolled you out already. You will keep on working. Keep on doing whatever you are doing. And everybody are looking on you. If right or take place, this man must fly away. This man must fly away. But unknown to you, you have fallen. You have not fornicated. You have not stolen. You have not killed, but you are falling. Children of God, the righteous also fall. When the righteous turn away from his righteousness and committed iniquity, iniquity is iniquity. Sin is sin. As far as your name is no more there, it's no more there. If I'm robber can take away somebody's name from the book of life, little lie, little anger, Little, little saying can us as far the name is not there, it's not there. What take your name away is not their problem. As far you are going to hell, you are going to hell. So therefore, say he shall even die thereby. Hell is hell. Death is death. Are you going to hell? You are going to hell. Are you in hell? You are in hell. Are you in heaven? You are in heaven. Are you going to heaven? You are going to heaven. That is what matters. So please, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters, don't be too full of yourself. I must not be too full of myself. Let us learn to check ourselves all the time. When the Spirit was ministered to me some days ago, said the, the, the saint can also be seduced. I said, wow. The righteous also fall. Hey. So therefore, be careful. Any little thing can take you off the track. So the race we are running is very fragile. It's like egg. Any little thing can break it. It's like glass. Any little thing, shake, can break it. So therefore, my son, don't be too full of yourself. Greater men like you are here. They were not sensitive. They thought they are teachers. They thought when they, when they get to where I am, I will tell them, hey, you have done a very wonderful work. Call me now. Say, hey, once you get to where I am, what matters is your holiness and your righteousness. Your work is, what your work is doing for you is building house for you in heaven. That's what your work is doing. What we permit you to go and enter into your home is your holiness and righteousness. There's some people are in heaven, they don't have any single beauty, but they are there. They don't have anything there, anything there. But their holiness take them to them there. But there are people who have mansions, great mansions, 
The house there is closed. The owners are in hell. They did everything they do on earth. They were working, they were winning souls, do everything. They were full of themselves. I cannot fall. I am a bishop. I am an apostle. I am this and that. So therefore, I am only there to instruct the people. I'm only there to control the people. I am a leader. Nobody can lead me anymore. I have got to speak. I am a professor in this faith. No problem. But on the last day, we said it was written. I told you, many I say, Lord, Lord, I did this. I did that. I do this. I did that. And I would tell him or her, because you did not possess your soul with fear and trembling. Because you were not caring, you, you, you were not concerned about your own soul. You were concerned about other people's soul. Do you see that woman? You brought her here. Hmm. Do you see that man? You brought him here. But your name is not here. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, let us be very, very careful because the righteous also fall. They will die if you do iniquity. Revelation 2, 20, 2 verse 20. Revelation 2, 20. Say, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou suffered that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my, say, my servant, to commit fornication, to seduce who? My servant. The saints. Then he said to me, you heard it? The saints can also be seduced. Then because of your carelessness, what you would have done to make you enter that you didn't do it, you overlook it. You allow Jezebel to crawl into your heart and start manifesting you. Little anger came. You did not stop it from anger. Malice came. You did not stop it from malice. Evil thoughts came. You want to, you want to kill that person now. You did not stop it. So because of this, you will enter in hell, into hell. But you are righteous. You are a righteous man. Just before that anger came, you were a righteous man. But today, you are righteously, righteously in hell. Hey, Father, have mercy. My servant to commit fornication and to eat things sacrifice unto idol. You watch that Jesus in the to your life. You are not sensitive in spirit. Ask yourself every time you are on the street, is Jezebel in my life? Is there anything I'm allowing that I shouldn't, I shouldn't have allowed? Is there anything that I always say? And whenever I say it, my heart is grieved. Is there anything I always do? Whenever I do it, I'm not happy. Father, why is that? Why is that, that thing? Whenever I do it, I'm not happy. There must be sin in that thing. Why is it that whenever I say that word, my heart is bleeding? What is that thing that I always do? And people are happy. Whenever I do, people are clapping. Hey, great man of God. Lord Jesus, are you also clapping at that time? Whenever people are rejoicing over what I'm doing, is heaven also rejoicing? Whenever my wife is saying, hey, my husband, you did it today. Hey, brother, he's saying, hey, Apostle Manuel, you preach well today. Lord Jesus Christ, is that what you're also saying? When people are just, they are going back home. Hey, that man of God, this wonderful man of God. Hey, he's a righteous man of God. Lord Jesus, are you, are you also saying the same thing, what they're saying? Because you said to me, if everybody are praising you, be careful. Jesus, I believe people are praising me now. Am I perishing while they are praising me? Am I dying while they are thinking I am living? Jesus, search me out. But today we don't do that. When people are praising us, we think our heaven is rejoicing. Heaven is praising us. We forgot that my brothers and sisters, on that day, the praise of men will not take you there. Men are about to praise you. Today, they tell Jesus Christ, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Tomorrow, crucify him. The amount of people can change at any time. We should not follow the amount of people. People are praising you. Some people can praise you to perish you. But have we won the praise of Christ? When people are praising us, is Christ also praising us? When that friend tells me, hey, you are a wonderful friend. If not you, 
Is that what Christ is telling you about that person? Is there something in your life that Christ is weeping about? People are praising my son now. Behold, my son is on the way to hell. People are praising my daughter now. Behold, my daughter is, is so is uh, so is already languishing. Do we ever think about this? Do we balance the praise of men with Jesus Christ? Holy Spirit, you are holy. That man is talking about is not holy. He, is, he does not see anything. You are the holy one. Holy Spirit, are you saying what the world is saying right now? If not, do something about me. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 33, verse 2. It says, Therefore, the Son of Man, say unto the children of, of the people, say unto the children of the people, the righteousness of the righteous, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. In the day of his transgression. That means a righteous man can also commit sin. A righteous man can also fall in the day of his transgression. Now the Lord is telling us, be watchful. A day is coming, you may be tempted to do something you have never done before. You may be tempted to say what you have never said before. You have, you'll be tempted to collect what you have never collected before. Children of God, say on that day, your righteousness of yesterday will not stand for you. The day you commit iniquity. Praise Master Jesus. The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wicked of the wicked, as for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he is seen. Verse Pastor said, Terry Peribus. An armed robber, an armed robber can turn right now. You will see the armed robber walking into heaven. You can see a native daughter. He has killed, he has done all sorts of things. ISIS, Boko Haram, whatever they are, they can just turn now. I say, Lord, have mercy upon me. The hands of Christ is open for everyone. No matter the thing you have committed, no matter the atrocity you have done. As far as he says, whosoever that confess him, whosoever that declare him, Lord, have mercy. I have seen immediately the blood will be poured for that person. The best will be purified. And you and me, if we are not careful, and I pray God give us the to be careful, if you are not careful, that righteous man, let me put it that way, that thought it is all, all is already well, I'm already in heaven. I don't need any carefulness again. He said, that little sin that you sin will not stand for you on that day when you shall stand before the Lord. And the, all the evil that that man have done, all the killing, all the slaughtering that you have slaughtered people will not stand against him on that day if you say, Lord, have mercy upon me. What about the people that slaughtered in sin? People that were living in sin. The pastor that he just came out of the altar preaching nonsense, preaching how you get more money to, to buy more cars. And they just got him and slaughtered him. The pastor will go to hell. A man that is so holy, coming back home, went for evangelism. And on the way, somebody just talked to him anyhow, and he got angry about the person. And they just say, Father, forgive her and forgive me also. And they just get rid of him and kill him. His best sin will get, go straight to hell. This is the story. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Timothy 4 verse 1. Say, now the Spirit speaketh speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from faith. Some shall depart from faith. Who are those some? Those who are not in faith before will not depart from it. If you are not standing, you will not fall. If someone is sleeping on the ground, don't fall anymore. Is he that the stand does say, Hey, please be careful not to, not to fall? Now he's telling you and I in the latter days, which is now we are now, we are in the perilous time. Some shall depart from faith, giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrine of devils. They will tell you what is evil is not good. And you know within yourself, this thing is evil, 
My conscience is telling me, brothers and sisters, if we must make heaven, let us make our conscience to be our teacher. Let your conscience be your Bible. Let the word of God be written in your heart. Let your conscience control you. Let your conscience be your director. This thing this pastor is telling to do is a sin. With a human wisdom understanding, this thing should be a sin. Even though I trust this man of God, I trust this man of God. Mm-mm, mm-mm. This thing, I don't, I don't think so. Even to tell you, the Bible says it uses wisdom to garnish it for you and stress it for you. Let your mind control you. This thing cannot be, cannot, this thing is a sin. This thing is a sin. He said, in the latter days, the spirit of the devil will enter some people and to start preaching messages to destroy you. If you are not careful, you will be destroyed by them. And I pray, we will not be destroyed by them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They give me heed to seduce the spirit. The saints can also be seduced. A doctrine of devils. Many doctrines are out there now. Deceiving people. Some are deceiving them in holiness way. Some are deceiving them, deceiving them in a worldly way. In either way, deceive is deceived. Where are you going to? Hell. Are you be deceived? Please check yourself now. Is there anything you are doing? Pastor told you is good. And whenever you are doing it, something is crying inside of you. Hey, don't do this again. Your soul is bleeding. Please, you are hurting me. You are burning me. That man, that woman said this is good. But it's not good. Anything you do it, your conscience is bleeding. Your heart is bleeding. Please, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Verse 2, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with a hot iron. They know what they are telling you is evil. But because that spirit is in them, they keep on saying it and they keep on destroying people. And many people are going out of faith. But on their, on their, in their mind, they think they are in heaven already. Hmm. Turn back now before it's too late. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. First John chapter one, I mean first John chapter two from twenty-five. First John two from twenty-five. Say, and this is the promise that he had promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. This thing have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Have you been seduced? Repent now. How dare you find word, sweet word, chocolate word, bread and butter word to seduce you. It's not only when you when you fornicate you are seduced. Seduction means you are out of the way. They are able to pull you out of what you know. Go and check the dictionary meaning of seduction. When you are lured into what is not right. When you are lured in, you are on the road, they lure you out of that road. They are just seduced you out of that road. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Say, but the anointing, listen carefully, but the anointing which you have received of him abide in you. And you need learn that any man teach you. This is my consolation. I don't need to go and watch anybody YouTube to know what I, I should do. I don't need to go and watch a, a, a professor to know what I should preach. I don't need to go and take any man to know what I should do. The Holy Spirit is in me. The anointing is in me. The anointing is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. Ask that anointing question. You have, the day you get born again, you got born again, he loaded you with anointing. He loaded you with the Spirit. Is that Spirit still there? Has you, have you allowed any man to pull it away from you? You better go back now and return it back again. Yes, you will not be, you will not be happy where you will find yourself. Say, and you, verse 27, but the anointing which you have received of him, of Jesus Christ, abide in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but are the same anointing, are the same Holy Spirit teaches you of all things how to sleep he can teach you 
how to eat so you don't become a glutton, it can teach you. How to speak so you don't overspeak, it can teach you. In everything you ever need to make care of, the anointing you use that above the day is there. The anointing you need to make heaven, the Holy Spirit, He promised you, I will send you a comforter who will teach you and remind you of those things you have forgotten. Have you chased him away? Please call him back now. Has our lifetime chased him away? Please, without him, we cannot make it. Without the Holy Spirit, without that promised comfort that I came. On that is a Lord coming to my life. He brought him to come and teach you. Go, go and direct her. Go and lead her. But because of our state of mind, we have chased him away. Please, sister, call him back now. Please, brother, call that anointed back. The anointed number is the Holy Spirit. It's your comforter. He's there to convey you. He's there to guide you. Is this only to have an apostle a man that cannot do it? I am not the Holy Spirit. I am not the comforter. I'm even talking through the comforter. It's what the comforter gave to me. The one in me is the one that gave me what I'm telling you now. Let the one in you grab it also. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. They teach you all things. And it's truth. And it's not lie. And even as he had taught you, you shall abide him. Has he tell you how to live with your wife and somebody is telling you, do it the other way. Stay by the one in you. As far as you know, you have the true spirit in you. No matter what any man tell you, let the man be a professor in the faith. Let the man be a prophet. I don't care to know. Let the one that is in you. That's why I love that song that says, someone is leading me. Let that one that is leading you teach you. Take him into you all things. Is able, he knows it all, and he can teach you, teach you all things also in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 10. Say, because even because they have seduced my people, they have seduced many. Many have been seduced. People who were holy yesterday, they are now honorable fornicators. Honorable adulterers, honorable drug pushers, honorable liars. Yesterday, the Holy Ghost was, was with them. But right now, the spirit of lies, the spirit of keeping malice, the spirit of doing whatever they're doing have entered them because they have given heed to the spirit of seduction. They are, but because, even because they have said this, my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. They will tell you, it does not matter. Do it. As far as it's not, there's no place in the Bible where it is written, thou shalt not smoke. You can smoke. It is not written in the Bible that thou shalt not do this. You can do it. You can live this way. You can live that way. And so this cry inside of you. It is written in your heart. Don't mind him. Not everything that is written in the Bible. It is written in me. Check me. Caroline, check me. Check me. Don't listen to the word. It's written here. And you say, because the man says, it is not written in the book that thou shalt not smoke cigar. Thou shalt not do this like this. Because it's not written like that. Okay, let me do it. Hmm. And you have forgotten. He said, I will send you a comforter. Who will bring those things that is not written that I did not say when I was here? He will come and put, I will send him to come and put it in you. How to live your life. Say, my people will not know this. They will listen to say the spirit. Say peace. And there is no peace. And one builds up a wall. And look, another drop it with a tempered mortar. They build it. Anyhow, one what to call a smith anyhow. They are living anyhow and happily going to hell. Verse 11. Say unto them, which doubt that it, which smack it, which untempered mortar, that it shall fall. Your salvation is crumbling. Your soul is on its way to hell. You are not standing well again. 
That gospel you heard some time ago, that gospel has corrupt you. It came with sweet mouth. It came with lovely mouth. It has wiped the, 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 the road for you. As long as it add another cubit to, your, to the road, you are no more on the road again. You are now on the wide road. If you are able to wipe it a little bit, you are no more on the narrow road. The road is not the wide road. Praise Master Jesus. Say all of them, which that is with more, with a temper motor. What is a temper motor? Smell there. Smell, it sounds that they have no smell in it. When you use it to, 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 to smell your house, when rain falls, it washes away. These are many gods that are coming now. Even from holiness preachers, from preachers are there. They will garnish it so that your part of your mind will be happy. One part of your mind will be sober. All the heart must be sober. If part is happy in sin and other part is sober, all are on their way to hell. Run, run now because the rain of acid is about to rain. It will wash you into hell if you don't repent. I pray that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. It shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower. And ye, O great hailstone, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rest it. Your soul is dying, though you are happy. No one that told you the one is cock, and you are angry with that man. Check it again. That man may be saying the truth. But this flesh want to enjoy life. That one that told you it's a lie. Please check the spirit that was telling you it's a lie. Check it very well. Don't just believe. Check it before you believe. That one is making your soul to be happy. And you are happily going to hell. Please reconsider. Check it again. Because it will be so painful for you that was thinking you are in heaven. And you see yourself going down, down, down. And you ask yourself, is it the way to heaven? Have torn now because you went to heaven? Has darkness because you went to heaven? It's not. You are on your way to hell. Heaven is up there. Hell is down there. Are you going down? You are thinking you are going, you are going up. Hey, reconsider. I'm begging you. Every storm is coming to bring it down. Verse 12. Lo, when the world is falling, shall it not be said unto you, where is it, where is it dropping? Wherewith you have that it. To ask you, where is the word you heard that day? You thought it was true. That same word is what is taking you to hell now. They told you it does not matter. Do it anyhow. Live anyhow. You can watch television and what? Is it not just uh, Harry Potter? Yeah, you, call it. you can watch Harry Potter. You can watch a cartoon. And allow your children to watch it. It does not matter. You can live that way. It's not a problem. The Bible says so. The Bible told you not to watch cartoon. Is there anything in the word of God that thou shalt not watch cartoon? Watch cartoon. A cartoon have no that with cartoon. Take you to hell. Please. Take your children off those things. Your conscience is telling you. This demon that my children are watching in, in this cartoon. Something is happening. They are corrupting the mind of my children. And as far as you are the one that allowed them to watch it, watch it, you are on your way to hell with them. If you don't take them off now. And I pray, God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The righteous also fall. Mark 13, verse 10, verse 20. And I said that those days, I said that the Lord has shortened those days. No flesh shall be saved. But for the elect sake, because of your eye, whom he has chosen, he has shortened the days. Brethren, the Lord has shortened the days for you and I. Let us be careful so that we will not put him into an open shape. Because of your eye, he said it's coming now, 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 now. No more time. Check yourself now. Are you following gospel that will make you to widen the road? You better turn now. Have you fallen? Not the way I fell. Yesterday, my heart was bleeding. I was crying all the way. What is happening to me? I want to go and send flesh to people. 
I mean, trust the people for evangelism. But I am dying. My heart is bleeding. I'm looking at up. Hey, is heaven opening? Is it coming? And so he's telling me inside, if you come now, you will be rolling on the ground. Take your side away. You will roll and roll and roll. You start boom. Why all that fly away? Hey, Jesus, what is happening to me? I quickly dump what did this thing in post office and run back home. Honey, I am dying. I don't know what is happening to me. I am afraid. I have never been afraid of it before. He was asking me, honey, what is happening? I said, I don't know. I said, okay, let me go to where I always go when I'm there. I believe you always come. And I went there, I sat down, meditating before he speak to my spirit. Say, yes. If I come now, you are going nowhere. You promise and fail people. You are righteous, but you are falling. As long as your name is not there now, you are falling, my dear. But thank God I have not come. Go and repent of your sin now. You tell them, they'll call you, tell them, I'll call you back. You never call them back. It's the same. Many of my children that have come and hear your word, they are not hearing it now. You scare them away. Hey, Jesus. But I don't know these people. Hey, you know what to do. It's a place you put it, every one of them will hear it, will see it. And I quickly go to Facebook and write it. Immediately, call for the coming. Man of God, because of you, I know God sent me to you, but you chased me away. How? Don't you see what you wrote on, on Facebook? I called you, sir. You told me you called me back again. Even so, so person also told me. Now we are going to another place now because we are afraid to come to you. Why? Since you told us you called us back, you called us back, that means you chased us away. Sir, I believe you have also chased so many people away. How can I chase so away and I'm telling, saying, God, I'm going to heaven? It's not possible. The heaven I say I'm going to, I'm chasing away from it, and I say I'm going to heaven, it's a lie. But many of us, pastors, we don't know this. We don't check ourselves. We are not sober. We are just on the street going, pra, 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 pra. I'm already there. We are not sensitive to the spirit. And if it happens suddenly, you may suddenly go to hell. So what do we do? Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. I'm closing with this. Remember, therefore, from when thou art fallen, O righteous man. Remember, therefore, from when thou art fallen, O saint of God, have you been seduced? Remember where you were seduced. Come back now. Are you a righteous man? Remember where you are fallen. And do the first works. Or else I will come and will remove the candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. O oh, great man of God, O oh, professor in the faith, please, he said God that would judge the nursing school in the faith, we also judge on that day. Please, no more professorship, no more whatever you are, what matters now is are you holy or you are not holy? Are you righteous or you are not? Up to country, whatever you are doing, every morning you are preaching, do not start again. All the cast not demon do not start again. All those things are gift. What make you to qualify for heaven is holiness and righteousness. Your gift cannot take you to heaven. Mm -hmm. No. Nobody go to heaven because he, you were so eloquent in preaching. No, 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 no. What take you there? Were you practicing what you were preaching? Were you living by the word you were saying? That is what we take me and you there on that day. A word is enough for the wise. Let that spirit in you search if this word is true or not. That anointing you, let it judge you now. If this word I've come to you if it's true or not. If you say it's true, please, my beloved sister, be careful. Don't be too full of yourself, not to check yourself. To fall, it's easier than to repent.
To come is difficult, but to fall is very, very easy. Any little rope, rope like thread can fall you. It's easier for someone on the ground to push somebody on top down than you on, on top to draw somebody on the ground up there. Eh? Don't look at the ground so much, else your eye will turn you. And I pray, God will help me, help you, help every child of God out there. And on the last day, our labor for Christ will not be there. Amen. 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 This is the word of the Lord this morning. And may the Lord bless the word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you there? You are not born again. Please, I am begging you. He that will come is coming now. Repent and be combated because that regret will be too much for you if you don't. If you are willing. So you say you are born again, but the Holy Spirit is not in you. That means you are not born again. That means it's fabrication. Maybe you are born again because we are looking for a wife. You are looking for a husband. You are looking for a for, for, for car. You are looking for documents. You are looking for something. That's why you are born again. It's not pure. It's not real. I want you to take yourself now and begin to ask God for mercy. Lord, every one of us, if you care, be to ask God for in any way as people want to get born again and get born again. Father, is my, my, holy, is my righteousness right? Is my salvation safe? Please check it all. If it's not, do something about it now. Be praying silently as those who are coming to us come and join us now. Say after me if you want to give it up to our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, I've heard your word. I realized that I was on my way to hell. Because the word says, Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life and dwell in me. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord, because you are now my Lord and personal Savior. I am saved. I am delivered. I have hope now of eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul in Jesus, man, are you wise enough to declare this declaration? I pray the Lord grant you grace, power, strength, all you need to run this race to the end. And you will enter his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, this is the word of Lord this morning. And I pray this word, Lord of Jesus Christ, may not be used against me, against anyone on this mountain. Rather, it will guide us at that time when we come and take us home. And we all we have the privilege to follow you home in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man of God. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let him that think it is standard, take it lest he fall. Let's open our mouths as we go to the Lord in prayer. We've heard the word of the Lord. Let's call upon his name that he will help us to live our lives according to the word of God. Let's pray that he will help us to walk in the spirit so we will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The righteous also fall. 
A Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, thank you for the thoughts of the Lord, Holy Spirit. Thank you for teaching us, O Lord, that we know that when you bring something because you want to cross us in our life, O Father God, I pray that, O God, have mercy. Wherever I have to fall, O Lord, not to make me fall, that I will fish me, come and correct me for me, so that anything goes ever <laughs> Amen. Amen. As we are praying, it is not until you have committed fornication that it will be considered that you are falling. Have you fallen because you have told a little lie? Have you fallen because you promised somebody and did not keep that promise? It will take somebody that is sensitive to the leading of the Spirit to know that they have fallen when it's not such a big fall. We want to pray and ask that the Lord will restore you. In any way you have fallen, that we forgive you and restore you back to the narrow way in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord, I ask the Lord. Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. I pray that the Lord will help us to be conscious of our work with him, repenting whenever you know it is necessary, as we see that we have fallen short of his expectation, so that at what time he comes, he will not find us wanting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for the man of God. Let's ask that the Lord Himself will strengthen him. The Lord, you know, virtue has left him. Let's pray that the Lord will replenish him. And the next time he comes to preach, more fire, more unction, more anointing, the Lord Himself will release upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for your servant. We have used to Jesus my name we have prayed. Amen. 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 It is offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you so much for what you have done for us this hour. You have spoken your word very clearly unto us, pointing us to the truth of the word of God, so that we will be fit at your coming. Many are falling away, not knowing their true state, their position in their work with you. Father, you have made us understand that the righteous also fall. Father, in any way that we have fallen 
already now that we have called upon your name. Father, I ask that your mercy, as we have repented, you will forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. We help us, O God, going forward to walk in the Spirit so as not to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Help us, O Lord, to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit so that we do not drift away from your presence. Keep Amen. us strong in the Lord. Keep us strong in the things of God. Don't allow us, O oh God, Father, to go our own ways. Help us to learn from your Spirit and to live as we are commanded in your word in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh God, that our eyes will not be taken away from you. In all that we do, we look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We have sounded this warning, I pray that as Christians, we live our lives carefully, we live our lives cheerfully, we live our lives prayerfully, trusting and depending upon you every day to see us through. And eventually when you come to take your bride away, I pray that every one of us on this mountain will be in that number in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for everything you are doing to keep us in the narrow way on this mountain. I pray that we will continuously yield ourselves unto you, taking corrections as you send your word to us by your spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, for your servant whom we have used, Father, we pray and ask that the virtue that has left him will be replenished abundantly in Jesus' name. This word will not be used against him, neither will it be used against us on the last day in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for the tithes and the offerings and the clap offerings. Father, Lord, we ask that you bless them and use them for the propagation of the kingdom's work. And in return, let every giver be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go into this brand new day, we pray for your leading and your guidance. Help Amen. us, God, Father, to continue with you and never to wander away. Hold Amen. our hands, O God, so that we not drift away from you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, Amen. for hearing and answering our prayers because we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The grace in fellowship. And the sweet fellowship of God Christ. And abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, God, love, and mercy will follow us all and we all and our entire family in the presence of the most high for forever Amen. 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 Brethren, by the grace of God, we are meeting again tomorrow. Today, and please, as you talk to somebody about what you're doing, do most of the Lord and your soul be secured in Jesus' name. Amen. Be watchful, be careful, and be hopeful. Be holy in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout, have mercy on us, on us. Have mercy on us. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ. And glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
pray for us today and on that faithful day of rapture in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 you have a stress-free day in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye.